current homicide record in the city of Columbus was set in 2021 at 205. That was a violent year, especially when you think about all the kids who lost their lives. 48 people 21 years and younger were killed that year. Mackenzie Ridley was one of them, and more than two years later, Columbus police still have not made any arrests. In an interview you'll only see right here on 10 TV, a witness talks only to Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Crisp. And all I remember is us walking down and everybody surrounding Mackenzie, and she has her hand on her neck, and there's somebody on top of her, like, like trying to give CPR. It was June 24th, 2021. This teen, Kay, whose identity we are hiding for her own safety, was at the Far East Rec Center with a group of friends. And then I just remember, like, from a distance, there was, like, um, not fireworks, like, um, what are they called? Like, flare guns, like, is what it sounded like. She was up on a curb when several shots were fired. They just started shooting in the crowd, and all you see is all these cars. Like, after they shot a couple times, they immediately got into their car. Everybody's running. Everybody's getting into their cars. At the time, she didn't know Mackenzie Ridley outside of social media, but went to police with what she saw. Did you know the shooters? Um, not, no. I honestly, it's such a blur. Like, I remember what they were wearing, but face is just like, it's not spot on. Um, I have like a pretty good description. She was 17, she was like right there. I was so excited. She was six weeks shy of her 18th birthday and we were planning for that. And um, we were just ready to welcome her into adulthood. Mackenzie Ridley had graduated Northland High School three weeks before the shooting and was three weeks away from starting college at Wilberforce University. Even now still, it's like, dang. Y'all took such a great person, a great person. Two and a half years have passed, and mom, Seneca Ridley Turner, is still waiting on Columbus police to arrest her daughter's killer. Is learning how to walk the streets of Columbus, knowing that you've got at least eight young men who have killed your daughter and who have not been charged and there's no justice and seeing all these faces. Despite releasing surveillance video from the day of the shooting, police say they still need more evidence before they can file charges. That's frustrating to Ridley Turner. I just want the detectives and the prosecutors to do their job and get justice for her. She deserves that. CPD has received few cell phone clips from that day and say few witnesses like Kay Everybody have been brave enough to come forward. When you got somebody who's just completely in the background, had nothing to do with any of it, um, just having a good time with her friends and something like this happens, it's, it's difficult. Columbus Police Homicide uh, Detective Earl Westfall is the lead homicide detective on the case. He's hoping since time has passed, someone may be more willing to come forward. I think ultimately in the end it's going to it's going to take some people that that actually witnessed what happened. They know who these these guys are that were shooting that day. Um, and I do know who a couple of them are. It's just a matter of me being able to, to to have somebody stand up behind the information and say, you know, this is what I this is what I saw. This is a family that, you know, their daughter died. Like they deserve to find out who did it and they deserve to be charged and not that it's going to bring her back. I think it would mean a lot for my family and myself and her friends, and it would mean a lot for this city to show that we're not playing. We're safe. We're going to do what we have to do. We're going to seek justice. Our kids matter. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. If you have any information on this case but want to stay anonymous, call Central Ohio Crime Stoppers. That number on your screen, 614-461-TIPS.